Batwoman is back, y'all! With a strangely underwhelming trailer. Let's talk about it. What's with the blue and red? Uh, is this a police procedural now? Is this law and order? Like, what the fuck? I know it's a little bit of a nitpick, but okay, come on. This is Batwoman. My defenses are up. Whatever happened to Kate Kane? Whatever happened to the vigilante? Lesbo the non-binary. <laughs> the city needs a hero. It needs a Batwoman. Uh, okay. They thought we wouldn't see that. Gotham loves Batwoman. She protects us all. Batwoman logo with the pride flag. Ugh. Crows are... The fuck? The crows are gun say What? Oh, okay. Well, basically everyone hates crows and loves Batwoman, but like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck that sign says. Oh, I get it. The crows are unsafe or like gun safe, unsafe. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, to the people in the comments who are praising this just because Ruby Rose is gone, do they pause to look at these, some of these goddamn signs? You know, yeah, I'm probably being an asshole. Their writing has probably gotten so much better. I mean, look at the irony. The irony! Yeah, that's not a good line. That's not a reassuring line. If I heard a superhero say that shit, I'd be like, nah, you don't have to say me, fam. I'm, I'm good. Being a superhero shouldn't be about feeling powerful. It should be trying to empower others. And the fact that like you're relishing in your own power, like that's the first step to becoming a supervillain. It's not heroic at all. I, I'm just, I'm worried about you and your intentions. Oh my God, look at the bat. We can finally get to see the Batmobile. <laughs> And even now, live and in living color, it still looks like a cheap-ass 1999 Ford Mustang GT. It's the kind of car that a motherfucker will put some cheap-ass rims on, cheap-ass decals, and think they fucking did something. And think they balling out of control. So many people in my hood drove that fucking car. And it's the same thing here. They kind of souped it up, they put some decals on it, and now we're supposed to think it's a Batmobile. Like, <laughs> Get out of here! I'd rather have Adam West's Batmobile over this. And this is actually, that's what they're trying to emulate. Look at the red trim on this and the red trim on the 1960s Batmobile. I little look at Batwoman trying to drop a homage on our asses. Ooh, is that supposed to be fucking Scarecrow? Um, I quit. <laughs> He's just got a fucking ski mask on with the mouth like crudely sewn together. It's like he's about to rob a liquor store with a carrot instead of a real gun. I met the new girl. She's gonna be a handful. How much better can this season actually be with Alice still around? She's still around. She's still around. That woman does not kill. So she's going, so, okay, so this new chick is going to have to have killed someone in order for him to set her straight and to be like, hey, you know, Batwoman doesn't kill, right? And I've seen people in the comment section saying, oh, this Batwoman's gonna fuck somebody up. This is gonna be so much different from the first season. Oh. Have we forgotten that Kate literally killed somebody and almost killed a suspect that she held captive once? Remember that when there was a whole subplot dedicated to Kate almost becoming a serial killer? So this new chick coming in and almost killing somebody or whatever, I don't know why they're pretending like this is fresh. It isn't. Does not kill. Boo. Oh yeah, and that boo thing. I remember they were releasing teasers and I didn't want to react to any of them because they were just like 10 seconds long, some of them. And I was like, fuck, fuck that shit. But now that we have a full trailer, I can go off on this. Um, You're Batwoman. You're not Spider-Man. <laughs> What are you doing? I'm happy that, that uh, this new chick has a personality, but this is the wrong personality. Alice is planning something big. And what the fuck? This guy is in the mask from, from the Purge. That's the Purge mask. They're ripping off the Purge now too? Also, it's not scary. And why is she driving so slow? <laughs> He's running faster than you are driving. Don't kill me, but I made some alterations. To what, the suit? I will say this. The the new chick does look like a much better actress than Ruby Rose. I will, I will give the show that. But if they have the same writers, the same set designers, and are still underneath the crushing weight of the CW, I don't understand. I don't see how this will be any different from season one you know quality wise i don't see how how it'll be any different and i kind of like that low-key roast of the first season trailer instead of her saying the suit will be better when it fits a woman like the chick just says hey no offense but i made a few alterations 
Just saying. It's a lot, a lot nicer, but at the same time, like she's being very urgent, letting him know, look, I need this to fit me. Thank God for small favors, I guess. Oh, look. New Batwoman. Okay, this concerns me because like, dude, she is obviously not the same <laughs> for a few reasons. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Did you get a tan? What? <laughs> this guy's like, wow, you changed your whole race and your hair texture? Cool. <laughs> like he thinks this is the same bitch. What the? Ooh, like, oh my God, Gotham is really inhabited by retards. <laughs> but anyway, uh, my final thoughts on this is, yeah, I think it's going to be the same level of crap with a better leading lady. It's still going to be woke garbage. I don't think they're going to change that. This trailer is deceptively short. The season one trailer was like three minutes long to give you a whole overview of like, this is the tone we're going for. This is what the season is going to look like. Now the lead actress has left the show. You basically have to just redo the show from scratch with a new lead actress. You've been, you spent months filming episodes and you only gave us a one minute trailer with a couple of teasers that have the same footage in the one minute trailer and that seems like you're trying to hide something because I, I totally understand they don't want the same controversy they got with the first season trailer they so they kept it simple and sweet they stuck to action and some emotional shit like oh Kate's leaving oh you sad they didn't really show uh ryan wilson what the fuck is her name i forgot her name already but they didn't show much of her personality and she's the new protagonist she's new and we don't really get much of her when in the season one trailer we got a whole lot of kate we got a big ass window into what she was gonna be like and don't give me that shit about oh it's covid it's covid for one thing they're already airing the show in january so and when ruby rose left the show the bitch's corpse was barely even cold before they brought the new chicken and they've been filming for months for a long time i think since either august or september they've been filming and remember the batman with robert pattinson they came out with a banger two minute and 24 second trailer for a movie that was only a quarter finished so don't give me that shit about COVID and how they had so many constraints on production. I don't want to hear it. That's an excuse. They deliberately shortened this trailer so they wouldn't have to exhibit everything wrong with the script. <laughs> because I think the Batwoman season one trailer has magically disappeared from the CW's YouTube channel. Trying to hide their shame. <laughs> But there is another copy of the trailer on. The like to dislike ratio is like, uh, oh, <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> so they didn't show us that much, even though there's still like a little bit of cringe in the trailer. They made sure it was minimal, that you would have to pause it and analyze it. And only assholes like me are going to do that. It's not going to be the fans. And they can't necessarily pimp out woke shit because they know how that will come off. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, they can't do the same shit they did with Kate. They can't be like, I'm a nigga. Uh, here I go. <laughs> they can't do that. <laughs> they can't do that shit. So they had their hands tied behind their back. They they had no choice. Of course, I am more than willing to allow this to impress me, but I don't think that's gonna happen. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the Batwoman season two trailer that's all i have to say i can't wait until january 17th so i can give you guys some new batwoman reactions so thanks for watching and goodbye guys <laughs>